and 100.7 channel number two. That's it. Love it. Love it. Okay, so, R.I.P. Rick Ocasek. Um, we have our Division Three report today. And now it's time for some <laughs> NCAA D3 hey, athletics. It's early. That's all right, Mitch. It's early, man. We got the best producer in the business. He's He's got, if he had... Five hands, he still wouldn't, you know, wouldn't be able to <laughs> juggle all the things we throw at him. So, but uh, anyway, so uh, we have a national champion on the phone with us from Calvin University, the Knights, Coach Amber Warners. Coach Warners. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. Thank you for having me. Thank you for joining us. You know, we were we were supposed to have had you uh, on last week, but there was a little issue, I think, with your bus. Yes, we had uh, we had a problem with the door kept getting uh, o- opening when we were driving, so we had to stop. Oh boy. And it that happened to be safe. at the right time where yeah. I went out there and I sort of just tried helping the bus driver. And anyway, that's what the problem was. Okay, well we're, we're grateful that you joined us. Um, so you're now you're located in in Michigan. Where exactly are you in Michigan, Coach? Uh, we're in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Grand Rapids. So on the west side. Okay. Okay. West part of the state there. Talk a little bit about your volleyball yep. team. Who's carrying your team this year, Coach? You you guys have, uh, are highly ranked in Division Three, and uh, you're ready to compete for that title. Who's carrying your volleyball team right now? Well, we have uh, probably the most uh, solid team, 1 through 21, that we've had, ever had. So um, probably if I had to name somebody, Sarah DeVries is our – She's a 6'2 middle and a setter for us, which is a very odd combination. So she sets in the back row and plays middle in the front. And she uh, was national player of the year last year. So she is, you know, definitely our leader. But we have a really solid group of athletes that are um, really holding up around her that help her out in her job as well as carry us. Coach, so – your your championship run last year was that uh, you know in terms of getting through your conference season the tournament the playoffs what uh, you know what was that like what what were some of the challenges that you faced and were you were was the the expectation there now I know as a coach you're always going to say that yes we expect to win we expect to do this we expect to do that but in, in, realistically in your run to the championship were you already a highly ranked or highly touted team going in were you kind of middle of the road not you know overachieving I mean how what was the season like last year leading to that championship well the last 10 years I think we've been ranked one at some point in the season um so I wouldn't say that we were surprised to be there but what people don't understand is just to get to the elite eight um is a very difficult road especially with the region that we're coming from we had to win a five-set thriller uh, against a very common regional opponent with Wittenberg University, and it was I think I think that last set was 15-13. So that to even get there um, is difficult. So were we expected? Well, some would say yes, we were. But as a coach, I think most of us coaches know that um, to repeat or to get to a national championship game is something that's incredibly special and something that I never take for granted. Coach Warners, you were a three-time national champion in 2010, 2013, and again in 2016. How do you keep your team motivated and keep them from getting complacent and and kind of getting satisfied, if you will, and letting them know, hey, there's, there's always work to do, there's always room to improve? Well, I think that's the standard you set. Um, we don't – our women – I guess our big motto is we just want to do things in every way, every minute we're together in training where we're not going to have any regrets. 
So we don't want to look back on today and go, we could have done things different. Or uh, we don't want to look back on the last couple minutes in practice and say, we should have worked harder. So, but that, it's not, that doesn't just apply to on the court. So it's building relationships with one another. It's cultivating uh, an incredible team chemistry and culture, um, which that's not the, you know, that really helps us succeed on the court. That's not why we do it, but it's certainly an added product to uh, having a, our women have an incredible experience and grow in every area of their life. So we don't really talk about results. Um, sure, we have a goal to win it every year, but um, we always talk about, well, what is it going to take for us to, to help us get the result that we want? And then we work from there and work really hard on a day-to-day basis. So, Coach, James and I are huge, huge advocates of uh, junior colleges uh, here in Arizona, obviously, and nationally, as well as the you know, NCAA Division II, Division III, and NAIA Athletics. Um, bolstering recruiting here in Arizona, in the Metro Phoenix area, in the state of Arizona, do you do you recruit regionally? Do you ever venture out west? Do you, uh, you know, what, what do you do in terms of recruiting? Sure, I we go everywhere. I don't, I can't travel. Our budget doesn't allow me to travel every weekend to go out to all different states. But I don't know if there's been a year that we haven't had at least one girl from California come in. Um, we've had Texas, we've had Arizona, um, basically, you know, right now we've got a girl who's playing for us from Virginia. And so if people want, uh, to play at a really high level of volleyball, but they want to really focus on their education first, be nurse, doctors, speech pathologists, uh, accountants, um, and play at a really high level. And then at a faith-based school that has a really good volleyball program, not just record-wise or championship-wise, but... Uh, building women, um, then they look at us. So um, I think we're offering something that's pretty special. Um, and they get a lot of our women get a lot of academic money to come to Calvin. So that's really we very rarely do we have a lineup that's 50 percent uh, or less from out of state. Coach, you guys have Bluffton today. You're squaring off against Bluffton. Talk a little bit about that team. What, what can you expect from them today? Yeah, they have a very dominant left side hitter. Um, they, they're not as they're not doing as well result wise as they have in the past. Um, so we're looking to you know just play our game. We always say that we want to be a better team and learn from whatever happens at the end of the day from what we go through. So that's what we're looking to do. We're still trying to find our right lineup. Um, so I'm really hoping today we can look at um, how tweak some things and, and do some things that we maybe normally wouldn't do to see some people that we need to see. Coach, we have a we have a student athlete in studio with us as our guest host. He's a, a, a football student athlete. His name is Vinny Malloy, uh, plays for the Gila River Hawks of the Hocom Junior College Athletic Conference. Vinny, you have a question for uh, Coach Warners. Go ahead. As a student athlete, like, how would you convince me to go to Calvin? Yeah, I, I guess I would. That's a great question, Benny. Um, I would say that if you are looking for, you know, we don't actually have football, so I couldn't convince you. But <laughs> an, another athlete, um, I would definitely say. He's pretty tall. He can go, play volleyball. Is he? Yeah. Well, we, have oh, a, yeah a men, we, have a, we have a men's club team. Um but I would say if you want a really good education, a faith-based education, and you want to play at a high level of athletics and um, be able to still be a student first, um, we have a beautiful campus, an incredible athletic facility, uh, and our professors and our community is to me second to none. Coach Warners, thank you so much for coming on, talking a little bit about Calvin University and your program. Much success to you. Congratulations on uh, being a champion. But, uh, you know, obviously getting back to work, sharpening that pencil and continuing on through the season for uh, another uh, another championship. Good luck the rest of the way. We look forward to checking back in with you down the road. Thank you for having me. Coach Warners, we appreciate you coming on. Go Knights. Have a great game today. And uh, that was Amber Warners, coach of the Calvin Knights up there in uh, Michigan.
Stay tuned here to the JV Sports Show. We're going to step aside and take a short break. We'll come back with the uh, Hohokam Junior College Athletic Conference Report. Vince, and there's a couple of exciting games going on for them tonight as well. Definitely, and a little more Cars music. Don't go anywhere. JV Sports Show, go JV! 